Hello, welcome to Carly Stevens Books. My name is Carly Stevens, and this is all about writing, publishing, and indie author life. And I thought it was about time for another review of a uh, in, of a writing related book. So today I'm doing Dear Writer, You Need to Quit by Becca Syme. <laughs> So full disclosure, I was actually given this book at a conference um, where Becca was and she signed the book for me very graciously. A uh, few weeks ago, I interviewed Nikki Haverstock, who works for the Better Faster Academy, which is, as far as I know, Becca's company. I know she's definitely somebody who runs it uh, now. And it does coaching for writers based on the Clifton Strengths approach. Um, what are your strengths? How can you maximize those? What are some of those things that you're not naturally as gifted in? And how can you kind of um, not necessarily even improve those things, but recognize what they are and instead focus more on those strengths? So if you want to look at that interview, then I would definitely recommend uh, going back and watching the Nikki Haverstock Maximizing Your Author or Your Writer Strengths video. I love talking to her. She is such an interesting person. But anyway, that's not why we're here today. Today, we're looking at Dear Writer, You Need to Quit. Now, at first glance, this book seems almost insulting. You need to quit, but I've been working so hard. But I want to be a writer. You know, all these protests probably come immediately to mind. But it's not so much a book about how you need to quit writing as it is you need to quit some of the habits of thought that have kept you back and kept you down and and all of these assumptions that we make that we don't really need and how to start to dismantle those. So the idea behind Dear Writer, You Need to Quit is to first of all question the premise of different advice that you're getting. So for example, you have to get up and begin writing in the morning. This works for a lot of people. Um, others will say you have to write every day if you're going to be a serious author. And that works for some people. You have to publish a ton of books all in a row. You have to bank on titles and then do this particular kind of release and then you can become financially successful. So we hear all these things as writers and it can be incredibly overwhelming to say the least because there are so many successful people out there who have gotten where they are using the advice that they're now giving to us. So it's tempting to say, well, then I have to do it the exact same way. But what Becca opens this book with is the idea that we need to question the premise. Is that necessarily true? Is it true that we need to write every single day in order to be successful? Is it true that this is the only launch strategy that works? Is it true that we need to, you know, whatever it is. So. It's having this healthy skepticism about the advice that we've been given and instead look at ourselves individually and see, okay, what are some of our natural patterns? What do we gravitate toward? What has worked for us in the past? Um, and then look at the world at large, you know, is there that much overnight success? If you look at certain channels, it seems like it, but if you look at writers as a whole, you don't see it that much overnight success at all, really. Um, so what Becca gives is this thought process. First, you question the premise. You think, is this actually true? And if not, what's going to work better for me based on the way that I work? personally. It doesn't say that, you know, if you follow her, uh, her kind of, they're not even really steps, but ha again, habits of thought that things will be necessarily easy for you or that you'll unlock this very lucrative practice of, of releasing books or, or writing them. Um, but instead, it's a way to understand what is going to get the best out of you in terms of both your life and your work. So some of the some of the things she says seem fairly simple, um, but I would definitely recommend this book to, to people. 
um, just to kind of combat some of that absolute advice that we that we so often get it's nice to have permission to do things that are way out of the box or not to put false expectations on ourselves because we already have so much of that going around as as a writer and so she runs through a bunch of very common misconceptions or things that she hears through coaching like um often and Nikki Haverstock brought this up in our interview, but the idea that you have to outline. Um, if you're not somebody who works well with an outline or has worked well with an outline in the past, why do you think that you need to do that now? Is it just that somebody told you that you had to outline? Um, so it's, it's things like that. It's a pretty short book, very digestible. You know, look at those Look at those margins. <laughs> I, I, I don't read as much nonfiction, obviously, I guess. And so I'm always pointing out in these, these nonfiction books, it's like, look, there aren't that many words. But you can really fly through this in just a day. So yeah, check it out. You can get it in paperback, ebook, or I listen to the audio actually, and the audio is only it's like three hours long or something, um, narrated by Becca herself. So yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's a pretty good way to sift, th to learn how to better sift through different pieces of advice that we all get. And I know that I'm definitely a work in progress with this, but I've since tried to question that premise, lean into my strengths and uh, go from there. So yeah, dear writer, you need to quit. Um, I will put the link down below so that you can find the book. Make sure to subscribe for more writing, publishing, and indie author life with me, Carly Stevens, and like the video if you like it. See you next week. Bye.